Rural Heritage on RFD TV is brought to you by Rural Heritage Magazine, a bi monthly magazine featuring articles about farming and logging with draft animal power, small scale diversified family farming and homesteading, and other aspects of our rich rural heritage. Rural Heritage Magazine, borrowing from yesterday to do the work of today. For subscription information, please call 319 362 3027 or order online at www.ruralheritage.com. Steve Auth of Woolly Wagons can't really describe for you what is the typical wagon he builds. He doesn't have one. Each unit is built to the specific requirements and desires of his customers. It may resemble a traditional sheep herder or gypsy wagon to be pulled by a team of horses. It might look more like a prairie schooner covered wagon or it could look like a tiny house on wheels to be pulled with a bumper hitch on a pickup truck. While no two of his projects look alike or have the same features, they do all share one fundamental characteristic. They're built to exacting standards to ensure high degrees of safety, durability, and aesthetics. We build both wagons and trailers. Uh -huh. This one is a trailer underneath it. Um, the we, distinction being what it's being pulled by and, and exactly. how fast it can go down the road, that it, kind of stuff? Exactly. Right, okay. Uh, people want a highway model, something they can really roll around now. Some some of our wagons, people put them up on trailers, latch them down, and sure. haul them around. And you can still camp out of those, too. Uh, it's more than just construction. It's electrical and plumbing as well. Absolutely. This stuff. Right. This unit will only weigh 3,800 to 4,000 really? pounds. Really? Right. So that's that's what we've strived for. I, yeah. I went with this because um, the trailers I was buying were good trailers. Nothing wrong with them. But I overdo everything. I wanted something a little tougher. So I found this material, ordered it through Eastern Metals, and uh, I've been real happy with it. In a in a upright position like that, that's where your strength is. Uh huh. Mm hmm. You got to come back and look for the little areas that maybe the putty didn't stick well enough after you sanded it the first time. Then you come back and stain it. Once, once you're happy with the. Uh, Getting your holes filled in. And you're not taking any shortcuts. We don't. No, no, we don't take any shortcuts. Uh, I wouldn't want shortcuts taken on me, and so I don't take them on our work. And uh, Mike's done such a great job on framing this and building it. Uh, Mike Maple. Uh, and that's him right out there. Definitely needs to be recognized. He's quite a craftsman. Okay. This now this is something that I I did here. I we come up with uh, this design. Uh -huh. But a lot of gypsy wagons back in the day, and we call this our gypsy bardo. Uh, this is what they look like. I, I like to think of our builds as more of an American gypsy wagon. Um, so we, we go for strength uh, as well as aesthetics. So um, this would be the bed? This will be the bed area. Uh -huh. With a big window in front. Right, right. Uh, there will be a chandelier hanging here. We'll have some wall sconces right in this area with the wires hanging down. Uh, where you're standing is an antique, uh, an antique <laughs> ice box. Uh -huh. uh, we could show you a quick shot of that. And then there's an antique stove that goes here. Our sink will go right here. As you can see, we've got our plumbing started, our holding tanks this out of the way. Um, electrical box. 
everything's being built in a uh, 36 inch area by two foot. So it, in your planning, it, it gets a little complicated. You, you've got to make sure you've got room to get everything done. And we do, we do our cabinet framing out of aluminum. Now some people say, God, that's overkill. My gosh. Well, we don't think so. And then this would be the bathroom. Yes, that, that is going to be the bathroom. And that would be a, a toilet? That would be a toilet and a shower. And a shower. Okay. And a shower. <clears throat> so this is the little parlor stove back here that's, that's oh, going yeah. in. Uh, Becky uh, out of Northern California, her goal is to take this wagon and do tea parties for terminally ill children, mostly wow. little girls uh, and boys too, yeah, you know. Sure. Uh, but uh, she wants to, kids that can't go for their last wish, mm -hmm. she'll take it to their home and, and I, it just gets Try to brighten her day. Tugs at my heart thinking that what, what she's going to be doing with this. So I have blueprints on all of our builds now. Uh -huh. So in case I want to sell the business, I've got, I've got the blueprints and we can show them how to this build it. This probably helps. I don't plan on selling, but. Trying <laughs> to make sure that your customer's expectations and your idea of what you're going to make are the same. Right. I, I think it shows a lot of professionalism. By, Absolutely. And, and, you know, you, that's what you sell to people is your your character, your professionalism. Uh, so we wanted to create a, a garden look with uh, this woolly wagon. Uh, we call it a Gypsy Vardo. Uh, so we come up with this uh, trellis look. We roll, our, we roll our bows. This is aluminum as well. Uh, welded that all up. So this is all aluminum. Really? Yes. It's painted? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we took some welding uh, wire, spiraled it around sure. to look like a vine. Yeah. It really and, uh, and then uh, we come up with uh, this aluminum technique of building these flowers. We kind of picked it up on the internet, okay. I must admit. Uh -huh. uh, so there's like four layers in a, in a clover leaf shape cut out of aluminum. So we weld it together. Uh, we put a stem underneath it, uh, weld the stem in, and then we start folding it up. And we take a pair of pliers and bend them over. And by gosh, don't you think they look real? They really do. No, they're really well done. I'm wondering if you have a model with you when you're doing it, just to compare it to. to look no. At you're doing it. No. Just, they, they, they all look different from yeah. each other, like they do in nature. I'm a, they all look natural. I'm an oil painter and been an artist all my oh, life, okay. so all it right. came pretty natural to sure. me to do. And this is all done cold then. Yes. Um, once it's all welded together, you're bending it up and, and right, and then shaping it when it's cold. Then we paint paint it. That's beautiful. So, the problem she's going to have in traveling with this, when she pulls in to get gasoline, she's going to be swarmed by people. Yeah. Of interest, so Absolutely. She, she'll have a hard time getting out of the gas station. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that must happen quite a bit with all your stuff. Is that yeah, it, uh, we we use RV doors uh -huh. on on our builds. Uh, this one will get an RV door. It, that door offers a screen as well, um, and. The RV industry has perfected their doors. A lot of people. Uh, the DIY, of course, is very popular these days. And I, by the way, invite any of you DIY people, if you get stumped on a build, you're doing it. If you want any help, call me, Steve, here at Woolly Wagons. I'm more than happy to talk with you uh, and guide you because uh, we've all been there. Uh, I'll give any advice I can from the experience I have experienced. So that's an invite. You're not worried about competition? No, I'm not worried about competition. Sure. The uh, industry, the, the demand is big enough. 
And your yeah. stuff is unique enough. Right. No, it, it, you know, everything comes back to you, uh, what you put out, what you put forth, you know. So, but I know a lot of people are building their own DIY tiny houses, and uh, I'm more than happy to help them out. I mean, there's, there's plumbing, there's electrical, uh, and, and, you know, everybody has a dream. So, so not everybody can afford to have one built for themselves. I've been there. You have. We all have. Hi, I'm Joe Mishka of Rural Heritage Magazine. I'm on location of one of the many events we cover that celebrates our rural heritage. If you enjoy our show, check out our magazine, where you'll learn more about the people that blend the past with what works today. You can save almost 20% off the newsstand price by subscribing at ruralheritage.com or chat with us at 877-647-2452. That's toll free, 877-647-2452. So I built this cabin uh, when we had our bed and breakfast here, uh, which I don't operate since I lost my wife, but that was, that was her thing. And, uh, but friends are welcome to come and stay anytime. Now something I do do, uh, is some of our clients want to come in and see us so we offer the cabin uh, for them to stay and we treat them like family and we sit and talk about their their build and uh, so I, I want I want to always have the personal touch here but uh, we built that cabin probably oh ten years ago so I'm gonna walk ahead of the sure. Get the sure. So there it is up on the stilts. Got a little stream behind it. So it's winter, the end of winter here, and we need to put a little TLC to the place. It's kind of cute, isn't it? It really is. Uh, made these steps, uh, just put in some big rocks and keep it natural looking. That's a pretty good view from up top. And all this banister here was, uh, I made from eastern red cedar. When did you get this cabin up? Uh, it's been probably 10 years ago. So I built this out of a lot of refurbished material. And it's just cute and quaint. Used, Very nice. used some uh, live edge wood along the, uh, yeah, the, shelf. the shelves. Yeah. Very nice. Just watch the water flow and I bet it looks a lot different when it greens up. Oh, it does. You almost get some pretty good snowfalls here. We do. Sure. We do. Got some great pictures of, uh, of all this in snow. Well, the, the story goes like this, Joe. Is this electric? No. no it's not hot. Uh, my wife wanted to burrow. Okay. So we got Hosey, and he was a jack. So. It wasn't, but maybe a year later, for a gag gift on Mother's Day, <laughs> it was at an auction, and uh, an older fellow was getting rid of his two Jennies, and uh, so I brought him home for a Mother's Day present. And uh, boy, did I catch the Dickens! But you know, <laughs> so then we had uh, several babies, and they, they're they're family, you know. Yeah. Uh, this is pokey dokey. Well, shaggy. you keep them in good shape. You know, it's easy for donkeys to get fat, and these yeah. are all in pretty good, pretty good Well, flesh. yeah, they're pretty, some of them are, Hosey's pretty fat. Not too bad. Oh, I, see some, I see some pretty obese donkeys. Oh, baby. 
definitely uh, the expense of living. Uh, once they've got their tiny house, they they can live anywhere they want. Mobility. You know, whether it's a woolly wagon or or it's uh, from another company. Like I said, you know, the old people that are retiring, they're young enough to still enjoy their time. Um, they want to see things, and home is their wagon. Yeah. So they get out and they travel. That's that's their goal. This is Mike Maple, and he's he's rolled all the bows on this and did most of the build actually. Yeah. I just done the artwork, and I'm the boss. I tell him what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you start? What's the first thing you do? First thing the I decking, do. Decking, the floor, the structure. The framing, the, the skeleton. The skeleton. And that takes about how long, Mike? Oh, uh, this one here was probably about four weeks. Oh, four weeks, a good month. Right. The bows and all, everything. Right. Uh, uh, welding, yeah, welding much. takes a lot of time. Yeah. It, it <laughs> does, but the payoffs, the payoffs where it's yeah, at. I always take and just cut out so many pieces and then just go from there. That way, everything's all equal. Right. Uh, I just got to keep it level, square, and all that. Yep and then start putting the wood on it. Yep. You have a parlor stove to warm it. Yes. What about cooling? You just look you know, for shade? Or? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's always good to look for shade. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, Becky, the lady we're building this for, she did not want air conditioning on this particular one. Sure. But we have installed it. Uh, what we found with most people that like our woolly wagons, they're very down-to-earth, natural nature type of people. Right. And. Uh, so I'd, I'd have to say the majority of our builds haven't had air conditioning. Sure. For purchase. To order your copy, please call 319-362-3027 or visit www.ruralheritage.com. Rural Heritage is a bi-monthly magazine dedicated to draft animal farming and logging as well as other aspects of our rich rural heritage. It is published by Mishka Press, which also offers a complete line of back-to-the-land books, DVDs, and calendars. Call or write for a catalog or subscription information. Or visit our website at www.ruralheritage.com.